Hi guys. I'm really sorry about earlier. You know this is uh, live cooking. This is live cooking. Anything can happen. So that first video Today we are going to cook crane crane Please guys do not forget to give your girl some thumbs up You know I'm going to talk you through the ingredients let me, let me wear my gloves because I find out that when you are doing live things, some people think that it's more hygienic, hygienic when you wear gloves. But for me, I like to feel my food. Although my, let me wash my hands even when I wear gloves. I can still wash my hands. Yes, I like to feel my food. But I find out that some people are saying, why are you wearing, you're not wearing gloves. Okay. I hope you can see inside this pot, my people. Please, if you're on this live, do not forget to give your girl some thumbs up. Please. And press the notification bell so when I'm coming up, I don't need to go through all the trouble I go through. I have to reset the whole phone right let me take the other phone so i can able to monitor the port although this phone is so slow it's unbelievable i'll be talking to myself honestly guys the first video that one let's call it kaput video it's not a good video so that video is going to be deleted but never mind guys, I'm up again. So I want to see what is happening here. Right? This box I think has to be shifted a bit. You see this phone is so slow, it's unbelievable. Because I need you to see the pots because my face is not important at all in this cooking. All right, watch in the pot carefully. I still cannot see the pots. This is a quick way to cook cream cream. Trust me guys, I can see the pot from here, but this device is so slow. Hold on. The device is so slow, it's unbelievable. It doesn't matter. I can see it from here, but I cannot see it from here. I can see it perfectly. Yeah. yeah. This this phone is just have a a head of its own. All right, guys. Now we are going to start our cream cream. This is the most easiest meal to cook, but people find it so difficult to cook, but it's so easy. In this pot, I have already boiled this meat for one hour. But I have here cow belly. This cow belly, I boiled this yesterday for 30 minutes. I put ginger, I put garlic, I put salt, I boiled this ginger, garlic, salt, lemongrass. The reason being, I, 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 I like to eat this um, 
cow belly, but I don't like some of that strong smell. So putting ginger, garlic, lemongrass, and salt and boil this, it can take off some of that smell. So I wash it. So I reintroduce it to these pots. In this pot, I have beef here. Yeah, I boiled yesterday, beef in the bone. Uh, sorry, I boiled today for about, let's say, 45 minutes. It's only salt and half an onion in these pots. Salt and half an onion. Only salt and half an onion in this meat because I'm going to use ingredients because today we are cooking crane crane. Crane crane, fresh, fresh crane crane. I've showed you how to cook crane crane the last time the other way. So this is my other way of cooking crane crane today. So please just bear me. Let's because this this cooking really really do my head in. I'm so pissed off because of the first video. They said that I have to reset it. Okay. But never mind. I so I have to reset the first video. So that's what I'm exactly I'm going to do to reset it. So as you see, the way that is boiling now, my dear people, because it's crane crane. Crane crane is so easy to cook, man. It's so easy to cook, but some people find it very, very difficult to cook crane crane. But do, do, do not find it difficult because crane crane is the most deli delicious. So now I have here, let's say, six tablespoons of. Um, Ogiri, we call this ogiri in my country, but it's um, fermented sesame seeds. So I put a little bit of water, like a, a half a cup of water, just to blend it because I, I blend it in the blender. But this is homemade. I made this myself because this crane crane is only because you, you think that it's plenty. No, it's not plenty because of I use water to blend it. That is why you see it like that. This is the only sauce you need fermented sesame seed. And this also, I have here six cut bonnet pepper. But because of I blend it in water, you think that is many, you know. I put half a cup of water all, also. The reason being I could have blended together with the fermented sesame seed, but I want to show you the difference. Okay? So let's put it in here. Because this is one way cooking. We call this one way cooking. I'm going to add some garden eggs. These are already been washed. Very, very clean. These are already, already been washed, very, very clean, fermented. Because this is um, an easy way to cook cream cream. This is the garden eggs. Wash them, make sure you wash clean. I'm going to add this pepper because of that Scott Bonnet pepper I use. It's not the hot one. So these are the hot ones. Okay? That's for me. Now I'm going to add okra. I made some salad yesterday, so this um, purple onion remains. So I just uh, I have one onion here. Five tablespoons of sesame seed, but in the African market, they, they sell it by ball. Just use five, because I'm using two big types of um, crane crane. The Nigerians call this awedu. Okay? So five general tablespoon because of I blend it like I could have blended together with the spices but I, I want to show you because if I don't show you I blend it together how would you know you wouldn't know because I want my cream cream to be so soft so good I'm going to add this is about six six okra 
I'm really sorry today the lighting is doing my editing. I've got lights, but these lights, these lights have like a head on the stone. Maybe let me just transfer it on this side. Maybe it will be a little bit better. Because normally I like you to see the food. Because when you see the food properly, let me just use it like that and see if I can have some. If, if, if you can see it better. Oh, this light has the head of its own. Now it's off. Right? Let me just put it in, in the corner here. Maybe you can be able to see it better. But I don't think anything is better here. So now, I'm going to add two generous, two generous tablespoon of um, prawn seasoning. This is homemade prawn seasoning, two tablespoon. But you can buy this also in any Asian shop or any, any other shops. I have here cow skin. I washed, I boiled yesterday night. And then I have here dry earrings washed. These are dry earrings. These are smoked fish I smoked yesterday, but I don't want to put this yet. I'm not happy when I'm, I'm not seeing the camera. Everything is smoky right now. You put this like this, because this is like almost one way cooking. Okay? So now, I'm gonna come in now with the palm oil. The palm oil is optional. I have here like two pints of, um, well, if uh, any Sierra Leonean is, uh, is on this live, they know the pint we use for our palm oil. Yes. They know the pint we use. Because some nationality will say we Sierra Leoneans, we eat a lot of palm oil. Yes, because of that's how we, we do our cooking with the Serenians. It's not a lot. If like different nationality was cooking this kind of meal, they will put a little bit of that palm oil, maybe even half a cup. But here I can say maybe half a liter if we do it by liter. Because this is African cooking, okay? So now because of I have already put that um, prawn seasoning, I'm gonna put three maggi, three maggi. Three maggi, only three maggi. Because of, you don't want this food to be overpowering. That light is not, it's not even doing any justice. No justice at all. It's just like a nuisance, yeah. Let me just take it off. I hope you can see. Let me just take it off. Just, just uh, rubbish. Just no rubbish lights. Yes, you can see. Yes, you can see. Right. I don't want to cover this. I just want to add the flame to seven. Because this is, they call this a miracle cooker. A miracle cooker. Mobile cooker. For those of you who are traveling to Africa, this is what you have to buy. If you want to cook like your, your greedy food. So let me talk it through again the ingredients in here. I bought um, the beef, it's beef and bone. I washed it, that's just um, a quarter of a pound. 
because there's a lot of protein going on in these pots. And then I have cow belly. The cow belly, I cook it yesterday separately with ginger, garlic, and then um, uh, lemongrass and salt. I cook it about for 30 minutes and I throw that water and wash it clean and take it out of that water and reintroduce it to this beef. So in this beef, I boil this beef with only a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of salt. Wash your beef, a teaspoon of salt and onion, nothing else. Because of I'm using a lot of ingredients. I always tell people, times without number, you have to know the ingredients you use, okay? I have here dry earrings. I have here cow skin. I cleaned up yesterday. I washed clean. Okay. I, I, I boil the, the meat, salt, a teaspoon of salt, an onion, and one liter of water for 45 minutes because of the, it, the beef was very, very tough. So here I have about four, four um, okra, four to five okra. And then the the pepper is optional. If you are not, if you don't eat spice, just put one or two. But I put more because this is my cooking, my food. All right. And then I added two tablespoons of homemade prawn seasoning, homemade. But you can get this in any African shop or Asian corner shop. Yes, you can get a crayfish. Well, they call it crayfish or prawn seasoning. We call it prawn seasoning. And then I put three Maggi cubes. Three Maggi cubes. Yes. Because don't forget, I blend and then I have um, the sesame seed. Five generous tablespoon because I measure it that way with tablespoon after I finish blending I use like half a cup of water to blend separately and half a cup of water to blend the pepper but normally if you are doing it on your own way just put the sesame seeds uh, the fermented sesame seed that we call ogiri and the, the pepper Put it in the same machine and blend it. If you are in Africa, just put it together and blend it. But because of I'm cooking live, I have to show the different thing. And I have one, uh, um, one and a quarter of onion in this pot. But well, for the onion also is optional. You can put as much as you like. Do not put peanut butter in this cooking. We don't want peanut butter. Because when I'm cooking with these pots, it's so easy for it to, to burn because of this cooker is so powerful. So now, I have another ingredient I want to show you, which can go very, very well with this dish. Very, very well. My rice is good. You can buy the canned one, you can buy the fresh one. This is, how you call it? This is, this is butter beans. In my country, in my language, we call this LA. In Creole, we call this big, big beans. Okay? You see the reason why I put the okra? The okra uh, um, is giving me like the thickening part of it. Please do not put the cream cream yet. Because when you put the cream cream, it's gonna, it's gonna boil for too long. This cream cream, I don't want it to boil for too long. You remember the last one I show you? If you are following me, you remember the last one I show you? And then this beans, 
let me just add it into the crane crane because of it's not going in this pot yet. It's going with the crane crane because this beans is already pre-boiled. It's already cooked. You see? It's already cooked. You follow the recipe. That's how you cook crane crane. This is my smoked fish. I smoked yesterday. I'm just gonna put a little bit of it. Because tomorrow I have a, 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 a dish to cook for some family. So I smoked fish yesterday to cook that dish tomorrow. Please do not forget. But today this is what I feel like eating. You know? Some of our people they will think that putting plenty water, no no no. <coughs> Not that I can cook more than anybody, but we have to learn each other's way of cooking. Let me open this door because I need a bit to look up. Then it's my back door. We are all I, I'm not saying that I know how to cook more than anybody, but we have different way of cooking. If I see your cooking, I might learn one or two things of it. Some people now, some parts of my country, Sierra Leone, they'll wait until this water almost finish in this, in this pot before they add the, before they add the, the palm oil because they like to smell the palm oil. But for me, in this kind of cooking, I like the palm oil to cook this way. Because when the palm oil cook that way, it's better for me. You know? When the palm oil cook that way, it's better for me. So as I'm talking to you, I'm gonna be stirred this periodically because of I have to. If not, it's going to burn because of this cooker. And then, believe it or not, that African pot, this mobile cooker cannot take that African pot at all. I tried to use the test earlier. It cannot take, I think, because of the steel on that African pot. It's very, very... Just leave this, let the palm oil, because of the, the key ingredient in this pot we want to cook to perfection is the palm oil and the the fermented sesame seeds we call ogi. Because most of those other ingredients they're already been cooked, like the like the, the okra, the pepper, the onions. You know? So it's the key. This is optional. I just want to cook it that traditional way because I like I, I don't know why. I just like um gardenets. Even in Sierra Leone. We have like that local one we call um, uh, uh, Jakato. I just would like to add it to this kind of cooking. It just become, it just looks so traditional, you know? Yes. Some people like um, the, like the, like this, um, how you call it? The, the cow belly, they like the smell. When they cook it in soup, they like the smell. For me, I like to eat it, but I don't like that strong smell. So that is why I will make sure that I cook it different in different pots. I put my garlic, I put my ginger, I put my I put all my seasoning. Because of like when I was boiling that beef, I supposed to put ginger and garlic and other seasonings. But because of the prawn seasoning, the homemade prawn seasoning, that is garlic. That is ginger, because I forgot to tell you that. Because normally when you are boiling the meat, you don't just put salt. If I'm using this kind of cooking, I'll, I'll boil the meat, pre-boil the, the beef, with ginger, garlic, black pepper, white pepper, and then onion and boil it together. But I just boil this meat with, with a, 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 a liter of water, wash the meat first, a liter of water and then I put salt and onion because of I know that I'm going to use prawn seasoning 
homemade prawn seasoning because the homemade prawn seasoning has got all those ingredients. It's already been roasted with the prawns. And then I don't, if I could have put it in this uh, beef, when I was uh, boiling this beef, it's going to over overpower this cooking because of this is African food. This is African food. You know, we don't want uh, like, because of you can overpower, you can put more garlic in stews or whatever, like the other dish I cooked the other day, the curry. But this is typical African food. You don't want overpowering ginger and garlic. Okay? So that's what I call cooking. Because cooking, you have to think about the seasoning you use. Because I know I was going to use all this seasoning here. So that is why I just, when I was um, boiling the meat off camera, I just put a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of salt, a, a half an onion, and then a liter of water and boil. Because I know the prone seasoning is got ginger, garlic, black pepper, white pepper. So I don't need to boil this meat again with that. Okay? Because that salt alone is already seasoned, that meat. So you have to know, when you are cooking, you have to know the ingredients you use to, to, to boil. Because you can find out, some people can, they can season the meat uh, over, overnight. They can put a lot of ingredients, they put pepper, maggi, da -da 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 on the meat and boil it. And when they are cooking, they are going to add more. And then you just going to taste either the maggi or those overpowering ingredients. Always, if I'm cooking with, like if I'm making stews, if I'm cooking with dry ingredients, I can season my stuff overnight. But if you are, fit, you are cooking with fresh ingredients, because fresh ingredients penetrate into your, to, uh, um, penetrate to your, your meal very quick than dry one, because dry one, it's already been dry, so you have to maybe season overnight to release um, uh, all, all the spices, the oils from the spices, all that. You see, we don't need the leaves yet because some of you may think that, oh, you have to add the leaves now. No. Now I'm going to taste, okay? Let me taste if I need any salt. Let me taste. Please guys, do not forget to give me thumbs up. Please, give, just give me thumbs up, you know? If you don't know how to give me thumbs up, maybe you can up out and up in again. Up out, you give me thumbs up, you up in again. Give me thumbs up because you know, although this is my food, but cooking a meal like this is very, very inviting. Because normally I'm stirring this like that, because this machine I'm using, if I was cooking it in the normal oven, with the African pot, I don't need to be stirring it every minute. But this cooker is just so powerful. And then I want the, I want the, the production to be so quick. So please do not forget, just give me thumbs up. Because the more thumbs up you give to me, the more um, a YouTube will Will, will, um, they will introduce my videos to. So I thank you all. I'm very, very humble. You know? I'm very, very humble by this page to be verified. I know one day, one day I'm gonna get there. And then you are the only people who are going to make me to get there. You are the only people. 
for those of you who are taking your time, because I, for those of you who are taking your time to come and watch what I'm doing, because not that some of you don't know how to cook. You know how to cook, maybe you even know how to cook more than me, but you are just taking your time to come and watch my own method of cooking. So, may the Almighty God, for those of you who believe in God, may God support everything you are doing. You know? I know you cannot see my face, but it's all right. Some of you are following me here. You seem, you are watching me on Facebook, so today I have, I'm going there live. You know? So, I thank you, my people. Don't put the leaves. Do not put the leaves, because some of you will say, oh, you have to put the leaves now. Do not put the leaves, because don't be fooled. If you put the leaves now, you, if this leaves is going to, you're going to boil the, the leaves for too long. And we don't want that. We don't want those leaves to boil for too long at all. We don't want them to boil for too long. It's the, the most easiest. So now I'm going to get my bicarbonate soda. Thank you very much, guys. I didn't know how to, to call this in English. Somebody write it down, write it for me. He said that this is called in English bicarbonate soda. Yes. Bicarbonate soda. The African, this is the African. I'm even using my African pot to blend it. In my country, we call this lubi. We call it lubi. So that is why you want this water to go as down as possible. Mm. So easy to cook. Sorry about the background noise. You know I live in the village. When you live in the village, every kind of background noise. So sorry. I did not need any salt in that, in that cooking yet. Because the reason being, maybe when I add the leaves, the taste is going to be... Because do not forget, I boil that meat. The meat stock I'm using now, there is one teaspoon of salt there already. And I put three cubes <coughs> of Maggi. Three cubes of Maggi. And then the prawn seasoning. It's got a little bit of salt. It's got a lot of ginger, garlic, black pepper time in the homemade prawn seasoning. So that is why I do not boil those meats with all those seasoning because of I have already used them on the prawn seasoning. So it's going to give me the, the actual flavor I want. Okay? Some of you look at it like this. You are going to say, oh, this is very cooked now. No, it's not. Let me check this garlic mix. Yes, perfectly cooked. Yes. You see? Right. You see the reason why in this kind of cooking I like dry fish? And I like the meat in the bone. The meat in the bone. Yes, some people use lamb, but I like beef in this kind of cooking. Because why? You are going to, in this kind of cooking, because of why I don't like to put lamb or goat meat. Because the goat meat have a scent. The lamb have a scent. So the beef, is, it goes well with the maggie and the prawn seasoning. So that is why, and just make it dry because sometimes I even, if I want this beef to be to to taste like uh, bush meat, after I finish boiling it, I remove it from the beef stock, I put it in the oven for about 10 to 20 minutes, and I reintroduce it to the pot. Yes, because my antelope is finished. You see, this is the fish. 
This is dry fish. You can get any dry fish of your choice. And I get homemade um, smoked salmon I smoked myself. So now, I can perfectly say now, but let me clear around here first. I can perfectly say now, this food, this sauce, is ready for the main player. You see? So now I'm going to add the main player. Add the main player. This is two, two ties. Two ties. Yes. Two ties. Right. So what we're going to do now, watch this. So now we're going to add the bicarbonate soda. My carbonate soda we call the, the, the uh, lubi in my country. We put a little bit like this. Okay. We put a, li a little bit, like half a teaspoon. Do not put, if you put like a teaspoon, you're going to make the food. So now we are going to cover this. Normally, I leave some sliced onions to spread on top, to just give me that wow flavor. But because of I run out of onions, believe it or not. <laughs> but I've already put onions in the cooking anyway. But normally I'll, I'll slice like a, like a red onions. Um, very, very, very tiny. Very, very, very tiny. And I spread it on top. It's just going to give me that wow flavor. This, we're just going to leave this for a few seconds because of we don't want any liquid inside this pot anymore. But we want to steam it like this first. For as soon as that's like dissolved, we're gonna remove the cover. By the time this cover generates liquid, let me clean it because of, I don't want your vision to say, oh, your food is, no, I don't like it. Sorry, sorry guys, you know, some of you us eat with our eyes. And when you're eating with your eyes, you gotta be, your environment supposed to be very clean. Normally, I'm, I want to wait this to go right down, but I can with this kind of cooker. If I was cooking it in my cooker, but this, is, this machine is very powerful. So now, you see, it's already starts sucking in the bottom, you see? You see? Now let's just do the mixing. Let's mix it. It's a very powerful machine. Very powerful machine. Because we don't want to cook that cream cream. Because the more you boil these things, because it's already been cut, never you leave your, this stuff to cook for too much. Because it's already been cut, just like cassava leaf. Some people, when they are cooking cassava leaf, they will add all the ingredients together. The cassava leaf, the pepper, the beef, the this, they put all together, they put the water. And then you're going to overcook the cassava leaf, and then the cassava leaf is going to taste like medicine. Trust me. You can eat it because of it's your cooking. You can eat it because of it's your cooking. But it's not going to taste pleasant. Because we want to cook cream cream for the, your cream cream to, 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 to be very, very slimy so you can have options how to eat it i hope you are watching yes 
please guys don't forget give me thumbs up please please i know the first video is fucked up but I, what can i do i know the first video is fucked up now as it is now some people will say oh the palm oil is not enough but no we don't need it we don't need any palm oil in that cream cream again because there's a lot of palm oil here some people will put the palm oil for the palm oil to float but we don't need it so let me just go a little bit lower in here So because of that bicarbonate soda, it's already been softer, softened, softened the cream cream, or Nigerian call this awedu. Okay, so that is why just imagine, like when this was boiling, I add the cream cream. Up to now, maybe it could have been still boiling, and then what the points, and then the cream cream become very very sad because of. Because when you are cooking, always think about this, that when you cut, if you are, when you cut the cream cream, you have already cut it. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't even, in the normal life, if I was cooking this for myself, I was just cooking this for myself to sit down off camera, I could have cooked this only for two minutes. Two minutes, less than two minutes. But because of I'm showing you the metal, so I can't cook it for two minutes. You know, like one lady was complimenting me the other day. Oh, Jamila Kamara, you learned me a different method of cooking. My family loves the way you cook your cassava leaf. I said, don't worry. Next time we are going to cook the coconut one. Yes, the, the coconut one, cassava leaf. Because some people are bugging. Crane, 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 Sammy Ledger, cat, crane, 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 Sammy Ledger, cat, crane, crane, to be bad to be at my crane, 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 Sammy Ledger, cat, crane, crane. Cream, 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 Tommy Lane Joker, cream, cream, to be dirty, do. You know that song I'm singing? The kind of school I went to, you have to sing any food they cook. So they will learn your song, how to thank the, the, the people who, who cook the food. So if they cook, cook cream, cream, that's what we we'll sing. Cream, 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 Tommy Lane Joker, cream, cream. Crane, 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 Sammy A. Joker, crane, crane, the river, and a crane, crane. I'm just cleaning the environment because of I'm going to set the plates. Tomorrow I'm going to cook another dish for a family who loves my cooking. Love my cooking. Let me just put the rice. Come here. Normally, this kind of, if you are not a, somebody who eats rice, you can use, you can eat this with fufu, like semi obiata. Because we have another dish we call obiata. One day I'll show you, but that, that one, I need fresh crane crane leaves, not like crane crane leaves, which are feeling sorry for themselves before you go and pick it up because of this is hard to get. And then it's more expensive than the other leaves. Okay? So like this now, if I was gonna cook obiata, I was not gonna cut it. But I'll make sure that I sit down, but it's the leaves have to be fresh. I sit down quietly and remove the strand in the middle, all the strands in the middle, because of that one, you don't cut it, okay? And I know the other cream cream also to cook 
the like the Lebanese way. You just use olive oil and you boil the chicken, you remove all the chicken stock, you just want the chicken, the, the, the breast of the chicken. Don't worry, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna, I said I'm going to take you to a marathon of food. Believe me what I say to you. So this now is on one. I leave it on one, okay? On one. Oh, look at this cow skin, man. Oh, children. Look at that cow skin, man. Look at her. Look. Oh, look at this cow skin. These are the, the kind of food you want cow skin inside. Just gonna go so. Look at this. Sorry if you are on this live. You are a Sierra Leonean, you are pregnant. If I was cooking this in Sierra Leone, oh, you can see the palm oil floating on top. Some people, when they cook this, it's now they're going to add the palm oil. You can cook it that way, it's up to you. But for me, when I'm cooking this kind of dish, if I was cooking a Liberian cassava leaf, I will put the palm oil later, later, later when I want to take off the pots. Okay? But because of the way I learn how to cook this, you have to boil the palm oil because the palm oil is already being cooked. But do not forget that it's got like this distinct um, taste, a smell on the palm oil. But when you cook it, cook it enough, just like the, the peanut butter, it's already been, been roasted. The nuts have, have, has been already roasted. If you want, you put them later or whatever. But they have that roasted smell. And then when you are cooking dishes like this, you don't want to smell that roasted smell. But it's optional. I'm just showing you my method. Please do it your own method. But I'm just showing you my own method, sweetheart. But I don't want people to think that, who is Jamila? You want to come and show me how to cook? We know how to cook more than you. I know that. Oh, look at this cow skin. Look at this dry fish. You need this inside this kind of cooking. So you see the reason? Why I leave that water to boil? Soda bicarbonate soda and that okra has just been softened. If you don't like okra in your in your in, the, in your dish like this, please keep it. But I know okra in this kind of sauce is the best. So now, please, guys. If anybody is on this live, because normally when I'm doing my life, I just talk to myself. When I finish, who want to support me, they can support me. You know, because you know that the camera is upside down. So please, support me. Press the notification bell. So when I come up, I share, I don't share, you can have an alert. The, notif the notification bell is just on the... I think on the left hand, just check on the left hand or the right hand. And the subscribe button is on the left or right. I don't, I can't even remember. Just look for it. Subscribe, please, and press the notification bell. You can see something like a bell. You press that, press the, subs the subscribe button. It will tell you what to do. And straight go to subscribe. Okay? So this we're going to leave it now. For when I was staring it, you see? When these small, small holes, which are bubbling here, become only palm oil, you can see in all these holes, you know that there's no water anymore. There's no liquid anymore. But if you are eating this with fufu, you can stop the cooking now. If you are eating this with eba, you can stop the cooking now. If you are eating this with, this with any other kind of swallow, you can stop the cooking now. But if you are eating this, with rice, you don't need this liquid. 
That is why you can find out when people are eating, you can see the, the sauce separated from the, the rice. Because all this bubble, this is water. The water the leaves releases. Although it's not a problem, you can eat it because it's all, but you can see, it's more clear, it's separating. As soon as you see now, you see the oil start to float up on top. So if you, so when you are cooking, you, you'll be thinking that, oh, I don't have enough palm oil. That is why you don't know, do not put, no. Because it's going to float as soon as this, all that, water because this if you are eating any swallow please this time you have to stop the cooking but if you are not using any swallow you are not swallowing you are just enjoying that Oof. jesus christ don't tell me see let me see perfect perfect see peppers on top to beautify the pots because that the the scott bonnet pepper i use is is a low lower grade it's the lower grade you see it plenty but it's not it's the lower grade Because I'm cooking, but I sometimes I watch a tutorial to two people cooking as well. That was the day I watched a cookie, somebody was cooking. This person put about almost, a, let's say, a generous tablespoon of MSG on the meat. How I was thinking to myself, I just want to go and grab her and say, Stop it! Do not put MSG! No, stop it! Salt! Now you can't even have vegetarians because that meat, when you are cooking the meat, wash the meat nicely, you put in the pots, you put one liter of water. You put salt, that salt alone is going to release stock, especially the beef in the bone. Because the maggi is, maggi is made with beef, the, the marrow, the beef bones. They just add, add salt into it. So when you are doing this kind of cooking, just add salt in the beef. But if you want to season, just put like a, your salt. You put your onion. If you know that you are going to use, if you, if you don't have like a homemade seasoning like me, when you are, when you are cooking the, the meats, just make sure you put salt. You put the water, you put onions, you boil. If you are, if you are not cooking it on camera like, like me, you can put there your maggi, your ginger, your garlic. In that meat, ginger, garlic, salt, black pepper, onion, that's it. Because the meat releases, as soon as you put, actually the beef on the bone, as soon as you put salt, you, be, you are making a beef stock. You are making a beef stock. If that beef, you have you boiled in that water, you remove the beef, you put it aside, and then you boil that water, that water condensed. You got your own seasoning. So that is why you don't cook with those white white thing oh let me just put it in the, in the in the meat for seasoning that is why you can find out if you are somebody who are not eating a lot of pepper 
because these Asian people they eat a lot of spice, so you cannot they cannot get the the, the MSG effects that white Maggi effect because by the time the 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 the, the, um, the pepper hit their the palates, by the time that that spice hits the hit their palates, by the time that heatness finishing on their palates, that MSG can be dissolved in their tongue and. But if you don't eat spice and you cook with that, it's just going to sit in your gill. You know? You are going to feel like you want to throw up. Sorry I'm cooking to say it, but it's the real talk. I have to say it like that for my people to understand. You don't need to put it in your seasoning. If you are using fresh ingredients, you can put your rosemary in your meat or your, your thyme, your rosemary, and then you can put your salt, your black pepper, your ginger, your garlic, for you to, to boil the meats. But just remember, you, you have already used all those ingredients to boil that meat. You have to be careful the ingredients you are going to use for the actual cooking. Because when you cook food, you want to taste everything, all the individual ingredient inside but when you overpower that cooking with a lot of those shelf things you are taking so now it's time for me now to you see we still got water you see so this you can eat this now with your swallow because not everybody likes to eat rice. Oh, those are skin. I cut it like a like a, a thief's wife. That's how a thief's wife cuts their they don't they, they don't cut a small they don't cut a small small big big. See? So this now the best rice for me to eat this is brown rice, but I don't have brown rice. I have leftover basmati rice. And then in my house, I don't waste anything. I don't waste nothing. I'm just like my, I think I, I inherit, inherit this from my late mom. My late mom, you can go to her house every time of the day, that will be food. Trust me. Because my late mom always said, you always have to keep spare food. You don't know who's going to pass by. Maybe that person will be hungry. You give them that food. So that is why this sauce today is not for nobody's mind. So I'm going to eat it today and leave it until tomorrow. I buy my um, zip bags, I scoop it, I put it in my freezer because it's colder. So anytime I, I feel like eating this, I'm just gonna go into my freezer. I take one, defrost, and boil, steam my rice, and I have a perfect cream cream. But tomorrow I'm cooking potato leaves because the one I cooked the last time, oh my God. The lady say, I didn't know that in my country, everybody, nobody like to eat this. They will give it to the goats. I said to the goats, <laughs> he says, I'm going to tell my people in my country that this is the best of the best. I said to her, I said, my sister, any leaf, any, any vegetables leaf, if you can eat the roots, you have to know that the leaves are edible. I said, in my country, this our, is our staple foods. Cassava leaf is one. Potato leaf is two. Cream cream is three. Is three Tola. I don't know the name of Tola. Please, if somebody knew the name of Tola, because of the last time, I don't know the name of this African Luby. So somebody said bicarbonate soda. Because we have a bicarbonate soda, I know it's white, but because of that, is African one, it's African bicarbonate soda, the Luby. So, because cooking. You might be a better cook than me, 
but we just learn to each other's method to each other's method how we cook like this cream this cream cream now i have leftover basmati rice i i cooked the curry the last time for so now I'm not gonna waste my rice, am I? So I, I kept it in the fridge. Whenever you have leftover rice, do not leave it in the pot, the rice cooker. Make sure, let me come nearer the camera so you can hear me. Anytime you are cooking this kind of dish, if you are cooking, you want leftover rice, do not leave it in the cooker at all. Do not leave it in the cooker. Do not leave it in the pan, the, 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 the rice cooker. Please, 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 because of, don't forget, the rice cooker is made of aluminium. Remove the rice from the cooker, put it in a bowl, when it cool down, because never put anything hot in the fridge or freezer. When it's cooled down, put it in the, in the fridge. Because for those of you who doesn't know, rice can be uh, contaminated as well. So just seal it the next day. You can do it with different, different things. Either fried rice, just look at how this cream cream is looking. I'm just, I just want to film for my, for my audience. I just want to film for my audience. Please, my people. You see, the reason why I told you earlier, do not I want to film for my other audience. You see, the amount of palm oil. That palm oil is about like a, a liter, maybe a liter. No, no, half a liter. A liter would be too much. Oh, let me clean here first because this sauce can be very messy. Let me clean here. Don't go away if you are watching this, so you come and see how I, how I, how I share this. Yes. Let me bring your camera. Yes. Bring your camera now, bring the phone. Yes, my people, this is Jamila Camera Food. Today, I just kept cream cream. Crane Crane on YouTube. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jamila Kamara Food. Please do not forget to subscribe, Jamila Kamara Food. It's cow skin. My Instagram is Jamila K1. My TikTok is Jamila K1. Do not forget to help your girl, to support your girl. Press the notification button. Okay? This is it. Let me bring you closer. Let me bring you closer. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the cream cream. Cream cream. Please, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to know how to cook the best of the best cream cream, the most delicious cream cream, thank you very much. God bless you all for supporting. Let me get a picture now. The smoke is so much. I can't get a...
Uh, I don't like this picture because the cooker is a bit dirty. Let me just wipe it a bit. Although people can understand that I'm cooking with palm oil, you have to expect that, but I still want, I don't mind what people are expecting. Because some people eat with their eyes. Hi my people, this is Jamila La Camara Food. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jamila La Camara Food. I have just cooked uh, 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 a sauce called Cream Cream. The Nigerians call this Awedu, but this is the Sierra Leonean way. Follow me on Instagram, Jamila K1. On TikTok, Jamila K1. On YouTube, Jamila La Camara Food. Please guys, support your girl. <laughs> God bless you all. For those of you who believe in God, for those who don't believe in God, thank you for watching. All right. So now you're gonna see. You're gonna see how this is going to be done. You see. You see. Look at this. How can you look at this sauce? Yeah, I can. See. Please guys, give your girl thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you don't like what what if you like what you're seeing. Look at this. Look. Now I'm going to enjoy now this cow belly because as I told you earlier, when you buy the cow belly, if you like the smell, just wash it with lime and salt and cook it. You can use it, but me I don't like that strong smell. So that is why I use. I, 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 I use um, ginger, garlic, lemongrass, salt, onion. I cook it separately and I, I throw that water away and wash it clean because I don't like the smell. The smell can be overpowering. So I reintroduce. I like to eat it, but I don't like to look at this cow skin. Oh, look, boliba. Oh, like baliba, balaba. This is how the Nigerians cut their. That's how they share their meat. You can never see a Nigerian share the meat like we Sierra Leoneans. We Sierra Leoneans, we cut our meat small, small. But Nigerians, when they serve you a plate of meat, ah, you will know that you are eating meat. They will cut it very, very big. You see? This I cook the perfect. See now, because of that time, I put this one. The 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 butter beans have absorb absorb the the sauces. All the when you bite into it, you're going to enjoy it. You see the garden eggs. Some of you might think you see it just cooked to perfection, and I like this to burst it on my plates when I'm eating. And you see these peppers. If I could have pierced these peppers, I give a hole into these peppers, they could have dissolved in this sauce. But I just put it with a strand. Just make sure you wash them, the garden eggs, wash it clean because of in the strand like this can be a little bit of dirt or pesticide. That is why make sure you put it in a bowl, you put some salt and wash it. So if, it's, if it's, there's any pesticide, it can come out because you don't want it to. And same with the, 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 the pepper. This can have a little bit of pesticide. Just don't put it in a bowl and wash it clean and enjoy it like this. So this now, I'm going to just enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to share the bowl. Let me just put it on the plate and see how I'm going to share this. How you see it? How you see it? How you see them? See? So now, I am just going to, because don't be fooled, you don't see a lot of, uh, um, a lot of palm oil floating. Make sure that you dig it from the bottom, because maybe when it's, this settles, you see the palm oil floating. It's just like this. Let me look for a small candle. Because I'm behaving like that small one I'm going to eat. So 
So I got myself here three meats. Three meats. Okay? I got myself here my garden eggs. Why I put this in the Let me just shiver in the middle. Three meats. And then one pepper. Oh. I put a little bit of palm oil. What do you think? Oh, I have to push this. You see? For those of you who are thinking, oh, the palm oil is not enough. No. You see? And the more distant, because you don't want a lot of palm oil also. You don't want this to swim in the palm oil also. You see? Oh, I did not put a, a, a cow, cow belly. Ooh. Don't try me. Don't try me, boy. <laughs> this now, I'm going to leave this now until tomorrow to cool down. Cool down and I, buy, I get my zip bags. Zip bags. <laughs> oh my god, Jamila is the only person who is happy when six people are watching her. <laughs> That's how humble I am. May God bless you, people. Some people, when 1,000 people, 2,000 people are watching, me, only six people, I value you. I value you so much that you don't know how I value you. For you to take your time to watch what I'm doing, may God bless you. You see, this is how I cook my cream cream. So please subscribe, give me thumbs up. And next time, and next time I'll come back. Okay? Next time I'll come back and, and help you. Watch your girl. I'm going to bring that plate in the middle. Let me off this. Let me off this now. It's done its job. You see? Some of you, you will say, oh, that's a lot of water. Let me add the cream cream, you know. This alone is cooked, overcooked for me. But it's okay. Because I could have left the water to go down more and more. But plus or minus, if the cream cream is going to release its own water, it doesn't make any difference. I want to just bring the split in the middle for you to see what I'm talking about. Push that sauce there. And bring the the plates. You see, this is what I'm going to enjoy now. So God bless you guys. Until next time, press the notification bell. Tomorrow we have the most fastest food again because I'm going to use because I divide all these meats, the the cow skin. I divide all all these ingredients for the cooking of tomorrow. Okay, so it's going to be more fast also. Thank you all. God bless you.